Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Asprey and this is another daily A-level maths tricky question. If you uh, find the content helpful, please do like the video and subscribe for more content. I chose this question because everybody finds differential equations difficult and this one doesn't give you much to go on. It doesn't tell you what the differential equation is going to look like. You just have to create it from the text given. I've skipped out part A because it was a quite straightforward question and we'll just get to the tricky part, which is part B. Okay, without further ado, let's get on to the question. A cake is cooling so that t minutes after it is removed from an oven, its temperature is theta. When the cake is removed from the oven, so this will be when t equals zero, because it's initially, its temperature is 160, and then after 10 minutes, its temperature has fallen to 125. Uh, in a model, the rate of decrease of the temperature of the cake is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the cake and the temperature of the room. The temperature of the room is a constant 20 degrees centigrade. So write down a differential equation. So it says the rate of decrease of the temperature of the cake. So rate means D and the temperature is theta and the rate is respect to time. So it's how quickly it's cooling and it is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the cake, which is theta, and the room temperature, so minus 20 is difference. And finally, we also know that because it's decreasing, it's going to have a negative value for the rate. We can rewrite this as an equation using the fact that when two things are proportional to each other, it's equal to the same uh, two things, but multiplied through by a constant k. So I'm going to get this as my equation. Okay, the next part is to solve this equation. So we're going to split the variables up. So I'm going to write d theta on this side, and I'm going to multiply the other side by dt. And then I'm going to divide by the term which includes the theta, which is the theta minus 20, such that I get 1 over theta minus 20 d theta is equal to minus k dt. And then I'm going to integrate both sides. So what do I get when I integrate the left-hand side? Well, the derivative of the left-hand side with respect to theta is just 1, and that is the numerator. So therefore, I can say that the integral of 1 over theta minus 20 is ln of theta minus 20. And looking at the right side, when I integrate a constant here, I'm going to get minus k, that constant, and then the uh, t to the power of 1. And then I'm going to write plus c. Because whenever we integrate, we always get a constant added on. Now, you might say, can I not add on a c on both sides? Well, you could, but overall, two c's could be swapped out for just one c, because the constant is yet to be defined. So just write the constant on the right-hand side to make it easier. Okay, so we need to solve this equation. Now we've got two constants here, and we don't know the values of them. So this is where we have to use our uh, conditions which we're told. So we're told that, again, initially it comes out the oven and we have a temperature of 160. So I say t equals 0, theta equals 160. So substituting in, I'm going to get ln of 160 minus 20, which is 140. That's positive, so I don't need to worry about the um, modulus sign anymore. And when t is equal to 0, I'm just going to get c. And I'm going to be able to get the next constant by using the next bit of information I have, which is that after 10 minutes, so when t equals 10, I get that the temperature is equal to 125. So subbing in, that's going to give me ln of 125 minus 20 is 105. And that's going to equal minus k multiplied by 10, which is minus 10k, plus c, which we know is ln 140. 
Okay, so what I can do next is I can rearrange to find k. So first off, I could subtract the ln 140. And that's going to give me minus 10k. And then I could divide through by minus 10. So just quickly though, ln of, ln of 105 minus ln of 140 is the same as ln of 105 over 140. And then dividing through by negative uh, 10 is going to give me minus 1 tenth of this. And 105 over 140 is 0 0.75 or 3 quarters. We'll put 0 0.75. I can substitute back into my original equation to get ln of theta minus 20 is equal to minus k is going to give me one tenth of ln of 0 0.75 multiply through by t and then plus ln of 140. I can then make e the base of both sides and that will give me theta minus 20 and then e to the one tenth ln of 0 0.75 times by t plus ln of 140. Now I've got two powers here added together. So that's the same as writing this as e to the one tenth ln of 0 0.75 t multiplied by e to the ln of 140. So that will cancel out to just leave 140 or times by 140. So I can write my final answer is theta is equal to 140 multiplied by e to the 1 tenth ln 0 0.75 t and then add on that 20 over there. And we are done. I hope you found it that useful. If you did, please like the video. That would be greatly appreciated. And I will be back tomorrow. Bye for now.